All right, dear Web3 DGen game devs, it's time to get into the real, real saucy part, which is going to be all about the integrations, connecting wallets and everything else. So let's just start with that. Let's go and create a menu scene and connect with our wallet. Uh, what we need to do is now to add the menu screen. Uh, just like how we did with uh, GUI, um, as UI, I think we can just probably just uh, take one of these, loose screen maybe, and let's just duplicate it and we're gonna save it as a separate scene. This is gonna be menu. And what we're gonna do is in, maybe in scenes, right here in scenes, we're just gonna add menu. Let's also make this uh, unique as well so the color wouldn't change. So menu, in scene, add menu, and this is gonna be menu. We can delete it from here, we don't need it anymore. And we're going to menu scene. See, so this is going to be game scene and this is going to be the menu scene. This is where everything is going to start. Uh, so um, instead of, okay, so the, for the panel, let's do a different color, something more kind of like this, maybe. And it's too bad, it's going to be title instead. And title is going to be, of course, pump and exit. Uh, let's make it better, stronger. Bam, pump and exit. That's exactly what we want. And here, instead of replay button, this one is gonna be, oh, of course, we need to go to the node and, oh, I, I thought the event was gonna be here still connected, but uh, probably not. So instead here, we're gonna do connect wallet, uh, wa connect, connect button. And here we're gonna say uh, connect wallet. So when, we're, um, when we press this button inside a game editor, um, we are going to just immediately log in because we have this key keeper already added, um, the path of the keeper already added, so there's no need to sign. The keeper is out there in the open for everybody, for, for me at least as a developer to see. Hopefully not for you. If you see throughout the, uh, throughout the project, if you see uh, my, my private key, please don't hack me. So in the connect wallet, we're also gonna need to do pressed event, but let's do first, I think the menu. Let's make a menu script. It's gonna be very important. So it's gonna be menu or game menu. Game menu. And uh, here extends, let's do control, extends from control. Let's add it here for, uh, for start. Okay, and what we need to do here is basically uh, this. Now we're gonna get into signals because we're gonna want to listen to wh when the user has logged in and, and everything else. So, uh, we are going, uh, let's open up the Solana service and let's go into its scripts uh, to see what it can provide. So Solana service, let's go into Solana service right here. And Solana service, it has wallet. So uh, from the Solana service, we can access the wallet. That means we can do something like this. In ready, we can do Solana service, wallet, and whatever uh, does the wallet service do. So wallet service does, you can do try login. So and if it's use generated, it's going to log in with your game wallet. Uh, if it's not use generated, that means it's like for online for the web build, then it's gonna uh, show you a wallet adapter from where you can click Phantom, Backpack or Soulflare to log in. But uh, so this handles it both for both cases. So I think we need to do try login here. Uh, wallet, no, not when ready. Um, we need to try login when uh, the button is pressed, when connect button is pressed. So we're going to do pressed, menu, on connect button pressed. In, in, uh, when you press the connect button, what we want to do is we want to call Solana service, that wallet, try login. That should do it. And also, you can see right here in the wallet service, it has this thing, on logged in signal. So when we press connect, uh, we're gonna listen to the signal if the, if the login was successful or not and act accordingly. So what we can do is something like this. So in the game menu, we can do Solana service, wallet, connect. We're gonna listen to the signal. We're gonna listen to on logged in and we're gonna do, um, load game so basically a funk load uh, game 
Oh, and also this uh, unlogged in, you will see that unlogged in, it uh, returns either true or false, whether the connection was successful or not. So in development, it's always gonna be true if the wallet was found and everything, but in, in the web, when you press uh, login with your wallet, you can also press cancel. So that would trigger the false. So you would go back, um, back to the menu. So we can listen here. So load game is success. Boolean, so we can here see if it, everything was a success. Um, if success, if, the, if you logged in successfully, then what we can do is this. Now we want to load the game scene from this one. When uh, previously we did just we just did the reload scene, it's not going to work this time because we need to actually find the scene which we want to load after the menu. So we're going to do this: export game scene, uh, game scene, which is going to be a packed scene. Um, export variable, sorry, I forgot, variable. Export variable game scene, um, on connect button pressed, if, uh, oh, if if success, then we are, okay, so for now let's just, uh, let's just um, pass. And here in, and here in the menu, game scene, we're gonna add this game scene right here. See, we drag it in, so we're now gonna be able to load this scene. So we will load from the menu scene to the game scene. And let's see how we can do it. So if success, then we're going to say um, get tree, um, change scene, I think it's gonna be change scene to packed because we have the packed scene, right? So change scene to packed and the pack scene is gonna be game scene. Uh, that should be good enough. So, uh, and on connect button, we do log in, but let's maybe do something a bit more clean. We don't need process. So here, we are connecting now to the signal of logged in. On connect bullet, we actually try to log in. And if this triggers success or not, we're gonna load the game. Let's try and see if this script actually works out. Uh, so, oh, actually, one more thing. In project settings, we need to go to run and we need to change the main scene from game scene to menu scene. We, uh, so that means when we go press the play mode, it will go into menu scene instead of a game scene. We can still go to game scene and press this thing, it, it run current scene. So this is whatever we have opened, this is what's gonna run right now, see? But if we go now to play mode, it will instead uh, load the pump and exit. Okay, and let's try to connect the wallet. See, and it loaded up. And one interesting thing happened. Uh, we see that we have this wallet right here. This is the wallet that we have logged in with. And it's the same as you see here in KP, right? So this wallet successfully was loaded in. We can actually see if it, uh, if it worked out um, and how we can access this wallet that we have logged in with. We can go to Game Manager and let's try that. When, when we're ready, when we're in this scene, that means um, the, the wallet was logged in. So we can do just an, an additional call. We can print out Solana service because we can call it now from anywhere, from any, any scene. Wallet, get pubkey, and do string because it's, uh, pubkey is a, a special type of class of pubkey which is used for like do, adding it into transactions and stuff. But to string makes it into this nice form that you can print out. So if it works out, this is gonna get printed twice now. See, because we can now at any point after logging in, we can fetch information about the user that has logged in. Let's see if this is actually gonna work. So, okay, so let's just do connect wallet. And here you can see it triggered twice this time. Okay, it triggered. It triggered twice from here as well. And so this was quite fast, quite uh, quite tedious. I hope you guys uh, understood anything. So if you jump into into this Guru Solana SDK, you just go through, watch a couple scripts, see what kind of functions there are avail available. Uh, there's also a lot of documentation. Um, in the repository, script, uh, repository, uh, repository link, but I'm also gonna add uh, the documentation in the description of this video. And see you in the next episode. In the next episode, we're gonna add some utility, some actual utility for the game. So it's not just gonna be just login and play, but just with this thing alone, just with logging in, you would already be able to participate in Web3 Game Jams because it's at least something Web3, right? You're logging in with your wallet. That is cool underground Web3 shit. So uh, see you next time where we're going to add some NFT collection holder utilities. This is going to be really fun and you may think it's going to be difficult, but trust me, it's not going to be. See you around.